Oh, wow. I love ice cream. I'm serious. When I decided to get my diet in order, ice cream was one of the hardest things for me to give up. You know, I was raised as a little boy to love ice cream in Omaha, Nebraska. So when I did something good or my sister did something good, our reward was Evan's ice cream goop on mint. And it was peppermint ice cream with this really thick gooey chocolate sauce. I still remember it to this day. Of course, instead of giving up ice cream entirely, I came up with a new twist on an old classic, a mint chip ice cream that's actually good for your gut. Now, one ingredient in this mix may surprise you, the avocado. But don't worry, avocado won't make your ice cream taste like guacamole. It's actually a pretty neutral flavor. It just makes this ice cream extra rich and creamy without making it bad for you. And one other thing, today I'm going to make this in an ice cream machine. But if you don't have one, don't worry. You can put the ice cream mixture into a metal loaf pan and freeze it. Just stir it every 30 minutes to break up the ice crystals and make it creamy as it freezes. So, we're gonna get out our high-speed blender. We're gonna add the coconut milk from a can. Get the full fat stuff, not the light stuff. Then you're going to put in some coffee powder and you're going to put in cocoa powder. Make sure it's non-Dutch or non-alkaline. So we're just going to cream that around. It's a little easier to mix at this point. And it doesn't take much. And then we're going to pour it in our saucepan. Now if you want to do this without blending at first, that's fine with me. But we're putting it in our saucepan over medium-high heat, medium heat. And then we're going to whisk with a sweetener, and we've got Swerve today. You can use erythritol, you can use just like sugar. And whisk it as this is going in, otherwise it's gonna clump. Okay, now you wanna take that off of the heat, and you're gonna add the chopped chocolate. And you're gonna let that melt. Get really extra dark chocolate, greater than 72%. I quite frankly use 85%, but more dark, more better. So we're gonna add the chocolate you've chopped up, and we're gonna stir that around until the chocolate is melted. And it's not gonna take too long. And if there's still some chunks left, don't worry about it, because we're gonna do one more blend. Okay, so now we've got that melted, and we're gonna pour that back into the blender. Great. Okay, so now we're going to add vanilla extract and we're going to chop some mint and however much mint you want, the better. Mint's part of the basil family and quite frankly, the more mint and basil you get into your diet, like I've talked about before, the better off you are. These contain incredible polyphenols that actually improve your mood. And maybe that's why I like mint ice cream so much, along with chocolate. I mean, it really helps my mood. So that's a, you know, that's a nice handful of mint. My, my wife would put twice as much, but try it out a few times and see what you like. Okay, now we're going to take a couple of nice ripe Haas avocados perfectly good this time of year. Now you can do the stupid trick of stabbing this with a knife blade and cut yourself. Don't do that. Just take the pit out. Now you can take a big tablespoon or a kitchen spoon and just put it inside the avocado and you'll see it comes out perfectly, beautifully. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to blend this until smooth. So and that avocado is going to add all this creaminess. Okay, so then we're going to pour that into our Pyrex or freezer poof bowl. Uh, notice how nice and thick it's gotten already. It should have the consistency of uh, pudding already. Okay, so that's now going to go into the refrigerator and we're going to cool it until very cool. Okay, so now we've got the chilled ice cream and we're gonna 
kind of spoon it and pour it into an ice cream maker. I love this little Cuisinart. It's cheap. You can find it at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. So we put that into the ice cream maker and we put on the lid and lock it in and we turn it on. Now you turn, turn it following the manufacturer's ins instructions and it'll take maybe about 20 minutes until it's thick and set. All right, so when it's just about set, you're gonna take some chocolate chips. Now, please get the greater than 70% type, or you can actually get Stevia sweetened chocolate chips from Lily's from Santa Barbara, which is a great chocolate chip. And then throw these into the ice cream maker. You wanna either stir them in, I quite frankly use the ice cream maker to just kind of stir them in, and it'll do just fine. Great. All right, so it's ready to eat. You want to serve it either immediately or if you want to thicken this up, this is going to be a little soft serve style right now, you can put it back in the freezer. This recipe makes enough for about six generous servings and it keeps beautifully in your freezer. You know, feel free to play around with it. Omit the mint for a chocolate ice cream or consider adding grated coconut or Marcoma almonds for an Almond Joy inspired ice cream. Honestly, the possibilities are endless and delicious. It's just another reminder that eating the plant paradox way doesn't mean you'll feel deprived. It just means you'll find creative ways to eat the things you love. And believe me, your gut will thank you. I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you, but right now, I'm looking out for me and my gut. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video, and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips, because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.